Hey munchkins, um, I'll just start off with a disclaimer to say today's a really really hot day so normally I close up the windows when I record so that the sound quality is a bit better um, but today I've left it all open because I'll die without some fresh air. <laughs> uh, unfortunately I don't have air gone so on a 35 degree day where it's extremely humid neither have the windows open. So if you hear any like birds or cars or who knows what from outside just ignore it. So moving on with the video. Uh, today we're going through different lip products. Um, as I've said before we've done you know the base products, we've done eye products and now we're doing all the lip ones. There's not that many but I thought it was worth going through in case there's something you haven't heard of. So to start off um, I'll start talking about things more on the skincare side of things. So uh, first object that comes to mind is a lip scrub. So a lip scrub is like a little exfoliator, it usually comes in a little tub and it's usually got ingredients like uh, coarse sugar or salt and you rub that all over your lips um, and that gets rid of all the dead skin or any skin that's starting to peel away so that you're left with lips that are nice and soft and smooth and don't have any rough bits on it. This is particularly important when you're using something like a matte lipstick because they will just show up every little bit of roughage on your lips. So, um, I mean, not always necessary, but definitely if I'm going to use a matte lip, I would exfoliate beforehand to make sure your lips are nice and smooth. Second thing is lip balms. Everybody should know what a lip balm is by now. We most of us grew up with them, I think. You might also know them as a chapstick. Um, so <clears throat> again, just something that's usually got um, ingredients in it that help moisturize and hydrate your lips to keep them soft and supple. So um, when you put lipstick on, it doesn't look rough, it looks nice and smooth. They come in all kinds of colors and flavors and formulas these days, but they're not hard to find. Any pharmacy will have them. So next thing is lip liners. I've got a few or a couple here to show you. Um, so these usually come in either a pencil form like this one here by Urban Decay where it's an actual pencil that you have to sharpen or they come in a mechanical, um, they're called a mechanical liner just like this Revlon one here where you twist the bottom and you'll see up this end that the color comes out. I personally prefer the mechanical ones just because I find they're a bit softer uh, and they go on easier as long as you're not too rough with it and break off the end. Um, I, I personally prefer it. Um, pencils are really good. These Urban Decay ones are really soft and buttery so these are an exception but most other pencil liners I've used are quite rough and it's kind of hard to um, hard to put it on. And I also find that I feel like I'm wasting more of the product every time I sharpen it because uh, you want it really sharp to get that really nice line but then by the time you've sharpened to get there it's like I feel like I've lost a whole lot of it uh, whereas with the mechanical ones you use every single bit. In terms of how to use them obviously they're to outline your lips to make sure you have a nice smooth edge no rough or smudgy bits. It can be hard to achieve that with just lipstick alone particularly if you've got a darker colour. Um, with a colour like this which is almost natural it it doesn't really matter so much if the smudgy edges, you don't tend to notice it as much, but with a really bright colour or a really dark colour, you tend to notice any little bit that's outside the lines. So a lip liner will help with that. Also a good trick is to fill in your whole lips with a lip liner. This is, you know, nothing new. Most people know about this by now. Um, this helps create a good base for your lipstick to go on and also helps it last all day because lip liner is so sticky and um, by sticky I mean it stays on your lips, it, it doesn't really move uh, in the same way that lipstick does. So it'll just make sure that your lipstick stays for all day. Um, and then if your lipstick does tend to fade, at least there's something underneath to keep it looking like you've got something on. Also of course you can use a lip liner on its own. I often fill in my lips with just a lip liner because it's really long lasting. But then there's also plenty of times where I've topped that with a clear lip gloss so that it looks like a normal lipstick or lip gloss, um, but it lasts a lot longer. So there's a little tip. So now I'll just move on to normal lipsticks. Uh, everyone should know what a lipstick is. It's pretty much the most basic product there is. Um, so I've got two different ones here as an example. Um, you can get lipsticks in all kinds of different finishes. So um, MAC is a good example of this because they have you know, such a wide variety of colours. They're also organised by finish as well. And what I mean by finish is that the way it looks on your lips. So 
they have ones like the matte lips of course which most people know about by now which has no shine at all it's just very flat um, but then you also have lusters which aren't quite as pigmented they have a bit more shiny finish it looks a bit more hydrating not not as much as glossy it's just got a shiny finish um, and then you have ones with like pearlized finishes in them as well so that's something important to remember when looking for lipsticks is not just the color but the finish that it has like when you're swatching it on your hand have a look at like give it a move around and see how it looks because um, that'll change how it looks on you and also how it lasts the shinier ones tend to move around a lot more um, and don't always last all day so for example I've got I've got Blankety here by Matte, which is an amplified one. So it's highly pigmented but does have a slight gloss on it. I'll just do a swatch. I'd call it more of a sheen than a gloss. In fact, I don't even know if you'd be able to see it. Yeah, so you can see just there there's that slight bit of sheen to it. So it's not completely matte, um, but it's not glossy either. I find this really good because it still lasts all day but doesn't look completely flat on the lips. You can also get, um, I've got this one here by Rimmel, it's one of the Kate lipsticks. This one's a similar, uh, a really similar formula. So that's this one here, the Kate one. You can see they're pretty much the same kind of sheen finish. Most uh, drugstore lipsticks tend to be this kind of formula. Also I've got another lipstick from MAC which is a matte finish. Uh, so this one here is Russian Red. I love this lipstick, I use this for Christmas of course. Um, so I'll just pop that, do a swatch of that on my hand, which is this one here, and you can see, see how these ones shine in the light, but this one's completely flat, that won't shine at all. So this is really long lasting because it's a matte formula. So it just comes down to what you need the lipstick for, how long you want it to last, and what kind of look you're after. Um, obviously something with a bit more of a sheen is uh, a more natural look, uh, but something that's a bit more glossy or a bit more matte is something... Um, a bit more made up. Uh, so next I'll move on to liquid lipsticks. These are all the rage at the moment. Uh, same kind of deal where um, it comes in different formulas. So most liquid lipsticks are matte. Uh, it's actually kind of hard to find one that's not, although they are around. The first one that comes to mind is the, I can't remember which brand it is, but it's called the Vivid, Vivid Matte, no, it's called the Liquid vivid matte lipstick or something with the word vivid and matte and liquid in it and even though it says matte it's actually very wet it's not matte at all <laughs> um, uh, that's the only one that comes to mind so they are kind of tricky because it's almost like if you try to go for a normal lipstick formula which is sheeny it tends to be more of a gloss if it's in a liquid form it's just it's almost like you get either matte or gloss it's hard to get one in between um, but anyhow, I've just got a few different liquid lipsticks here to show you as an example. My very first ones that I got um, were were these Revlon ones. They're the Colorstay, Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick. Um, I got this in three different colors. I uh, don't think they stock these anymore. They have one that's similar, but it's, it's not a matte uh, lipstick like this. And this doesn't even say that it's matte. It just is like most liquid lipsticks are. Um, so these weren't the best. Um, I loved them as the first liquid lipstick I tried. I thought they were brilliant. They lasted all day. I really enjoyed them. The colours were really nice. <clears throat> However, the finish was a little bit sticky. Like your lips kind of, they didn't stick together, but if you smacked them, it felt like you had to pry them apart a little bit, which I didn't mind, but some people do. Um, and at the time I didn't know any different. So I really enjoyed them and thought these were a great start from the drugstore. Since then, as liquid lipsticks have become more popular, they've improved formulas and now they're available everywhere and you can get really good quality ones on the cheap as well as the more expensive ones. So an example of some drugstore ones is like the NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks or NYX have a lot of liquid lipsticks anyway. The lingerie ones are a bit more natural colours. Um, these have a matte finish. I'll just do a swatch of this one for example. Oh yeah, another thing I'll mention while I'm here. Is that they have different um, applicators on them so this one's like a flat this one's like a flat one whereas they tend to come with what's called a doe foot which should be one of the other ones I'll show you that one in a moment uh, so I'll just swatch this on my hand you can see it's this one here it's a little bit shiny now but it'll 
uh, mattify as it dries. Most liquid lipsticks go on liquidy and then dry, although like the Australis Velour Lips that I tried the other day in my last video, that actually went on matte, like it was dry from the beginning, which is a bit different. Um, so another drugstore one is like this Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Uh, these actually go on very wet and take a long time to dry down, but they do end up matte eventually. Um, the first time I wore this, I put a lot of it on, so obviously it took hours to dry, uh, but I've learned since then just to put a little bit, and you don't even need that much because it is so pigmented. Um, but this goes on quite glossy and then ends up mattifying over time, which makes it really comfortable to wear. Uh, this might actually have the doe foot. I oh, know this one's flat too, so everyone seems to be doing this flat thing of late where it's very narrow. Maybe the next one's got one. So I've also got this liquid lipstick, uh, liquid lipstick here by Gerard Cosmetics. This is the colour Serenity. This is the one that Manny MUA did with them as a collaboration. Beautiful colour. Here we go. So this one's got a doe foot. So you can see it's kind of like, <clears throat> reason it's called doe foot, meaning that the end here looks like the foot of a deer. Kind of imagine that as like a little Bambi deer hoof. <laughs> Um, so that's the old way which was angled so you could put it on but now they all um, they tend to be more flat which I don't even know what the name is for the new version I haven't really heard of it but again that's something to consider when you're looking for different lipsticks because um, it might be easier for you to use a doe foot or maybe it's easier for you to use the flat ones it's something you need to get to know uh, because it all helps with how the look ends up looking in the end so Last thing on my list is glosses. Um, lip glosses are nothing new. I think most people play with the glosses when they were young. I know I started around, well, I mean there was lip smackers when I was little, but they're more of a lip balm than a lip gloss. Uh, but around the age of 10 or 11, I really got into the glossy gloss. Um, that was a big thing for me <laughs> around that time. I love them. It's like I wouldn't wear anything else. Maybe some eyeliner, but that was all about the gloss. So I've got a couple here uh, just to show. So there's the typical, this one here is the Rimmel Oh My Gloss. This is just the clear one. Um, this is just a classic gloss formula. It smells wonderful, goes on really smooth. It's really thick, which I love. It's like really glossy. Um, this I use to put on top of matte lips that I don't want to be matte or like I said before when I use lip liner all over my lips I put this on top just to give it that glossy look so that it actually looks like a lipstick instead of dry lips because sometimes I really like the color of my matte lipsticks but I don't want to wear them as matte so I just pop that on top and depending how much you put on it can be anywhere from a sheen to super glossy um, and also I've got the Revlon HD Ultra HD Lip Lacquer, this one. So um, this is more of a lacquer than a lip gloss. Difference being that a lip lacquer is a bit thicker, it's a bit stickier and it lasts a lot longer. So same kind of deal, same kind of texture. You can see it's really glossy. I'll do a swatch of that on here as well. Uh, you can see there how glossy it is. It's, oh, I just love this lip gloss. Um, but because it's a lacquer, it, um, it's less slippery and it won't budge around as much. A normal lip gloss tends to kind of melt away or slip away after a few hours, but a lip lacquer will hold its shape a bit longer. So that's it for my lip products video. I hope that explains some questions you might have had about how to use certain lip products and what's the difference between them because uh, there are a lot. It can seem intimidating at first that um, not only are there a lot of colours but there are a whole lot of formulas. I think it's all the different formulas that get people because it's like what, what does that mean, how do I use that? Um, but really it comes down to your preference and the best way to know is to try them out. Um, for example, Makeup Geek just released their new lip range which I'm so excited about um, and so what I did even though I wanted to get all of them <laughs> because I don't know what the texture is going to be like and I can't test them I got one of each formula so then I can test them out for myself and see what I prefer just in case one of them just doesn't work for me doesn't feel comfortable or something um, I'll decide which formulas I like and then from there I can go back and get more colors but that's something I do with all kinds of lipsticks um, just try out one first to see if you like it and then go back for the rest 
If you have any more questions about lip products or if there's any that I missed in this video, then please leave a comment below. I'm happy to answer any questions or talk about it a little bit more. Um, next week I'll be doing a video on brushes and tools um, and how to use them. If you're enjoying these videos, then please subscribe so you don't miss the next ones coming out. And if you found this one particularly helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.